unguided intraarticular injections of betamethasone are safe and effective for rheumatoid arthritis patients, according to Dr. Meret Hetland. Data from 160 patients presented at the annual European Congress of Rheumatology in London showed that nearly two-thirds of joints treated with unguided injections had not relapsed after two years. What are some advantages of unguided injections? Um, when you have a recent onset rheumatoid arthritis, you have a lot of tender and swollen joints and inflammatory processes in the joints. And you then start a DMAT treatment, but that is a slow-acting treatment. So you need something that can be a bridge buildup between today and the six, eight weeks before the DMAT treatment will start to work. And that is where we use the glucocorticoids. And traditionally, this has been done by using paraoral treatment. But then you also get a lot of systemic side effects. By giving the injections with glucocorticoids directly into the joints, you can use much lesser dosages and you still get a very high concentration at the site of inflammation. So our hypothesis was that this would be a very efficacious and well-tolerated treatment. What were some of your key findings? The key findings was that these injections were extremely effective. We could see that Already we had the following visit after two weeks and the patients had improved tremendously. And they also told us that after already the first day or so they felt an improvement. Um, and then we looked at the long-term efficacy of these injections to see, well, how long time will it take from you inject a specific joint until this swollen joint becomes swollen again. And uh, we didn't know because very few people have investigated this. And what we could see was that after one year, two thirds of the joints still had not relapsed. And after two years, it was 55% of the joints that had not relapsed. So we were surprised to see how long lasting the effect was. Of course, this was not the glucocorticoids alone because they were also treated with DMATs. So it was a combination of the two, but this is also what you do in your real life. Um, so we were very pleased to see how efficacious it was. And I perhaps I should just add what I'm always being asked, well, how much glucocorticoids did you then need to give? What was the dose? And we converted this injectable dose to an oral dose, and the average d dose would be less than one milligram of prednisolone per day, which is a very low dose. What are the next steps for this research? The next steps would be to look at if we can improve this concept even more. We found that in these patients, uh, the radiographic progression of joint damage, which is sort of our hard endpoint, uh, was very low. It was actually, it was about the level that you see it when you treat people with the very expensive biological treatments. Um, so we wonder whether this concept with intraarticular steroids and methotrexate actually is equivalent to starting biological treatment at the, uh, this very early phase of the disease. And, uh, and we have actually set up a study where we also include biological treatment and we will be presenting our first year data at the ACR conference later this year. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet.